Hello, welcome to Color All the Things with me, Melissa. Um, I'm back. Last week was, was crazy busy. <sighs> and I took the whole weekend off. I'm in Very Miracles by Clara Markova, if you didn't know. I'm also paused at work. And I will be hopefully not watching chat. Ha ha ha. So I'm working on this. I did finish my picture for the HK5 project and uh, seasons sidebar. Um, so I finished her. I think she turned out really pretty. A little, I was hoping for like really deep jewel tones, but apparently. <laughs> I am incapable of that, <laughs> which is fine, which is fine. So she's finished, I did a nice lace, like sleeve, the, the Posca just never gets quite as white as I want it to be. No, no white gel pen ever gets as white as I want it to be. That's okay. So I used everything. So I used Polychromos, I used Holbein's. I used Luminance on the face, I used Arteza on the hair, um, and then I had bought the Mitsubishi Uni pencils, and that's what this pink is. And they are the first pencil that I have sent back. Oh my god. Um, the, it looks nice on here. This was a lot of work. And not a lot of work in that... It just, I couldn't get pigment down. I just couldn't get the pigment I wanted down. It was very weird. Um, and it didn't blend very well. Like it was just, it would just sit on top. Instead of like blending in. It was super weird. I didn't like it. Um, so I legit sent them back. And now, instead, I went and bought the first set of the Derwent Light Fast, and they should be here today. Um, personally, do not recommend the Mitsubishi Uni pencils. Um, that's just my personal thing. I can't even... I swatched them. And they look okay in the swatches. Um, this is a rougher paper. It's got a little bit more tooth to it than, say, like this paper or, um, see right here is where I did Mitsubishi Uni, and I can see the two colors clearly. They're not blending. I can see them. They don't change each other's colors. It just, it doesn't work out very well. And there were a lot of colors that were, like, very similar, um, which I thought was terrible for a pack of 100 to have so many, like, extremely similar colors. Um, it was just, and, and the wax, it, it built up a wax, built up very quickly. Um, and, I mean, you've got, you've got 100 colors, and they're nice colors. They just, I've got my whole bind. I've got, I've got other sets that give me something extra. This didn't give me anything I didn't already have. And it was a, a pain to try to lay down. Um, and so I just, I sent them back. I, ain't nobody got time for that. I just don't have time to sit and bother with, um, pencils that aren't going to work the way I need them to work. Let me move some of this stuff so I can get my page here. So I've been working on this page. Uh, as you can tell, I had done the green leaves here, these olive green ones, um, with the polychromos as well as the robin's egg, and I did the gold specks 
I don't know if you can see it. We're having a very cloudy day. Like the gold specks there. Um, and I may actually take... I'll, I do this last because I smudge it. Um, but this is the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Clear. Um, so I'll probably take that and I will probably sparkle the entire robin's egg. Because why not? Um, and then I switch to Pablo's. Carndash Pablo's. So the violet down here, that's Pablo's. These um, really grass greeny colors, that's Pablo's. And so are the sunflowers. And the mushroom is, is what I'm working on. So I'll go ahead and zoom in. Um, I don't know how long I'll be able to, to really color with you guys today, but I wanted to spend a little bit of time with you guys today. It's been so long. And I miss you. I do. And this is still going to be a robin. I did, oh, I did luminance on the skin. I need to do a bit more to the face. I mean, I like the, the knees down here and everything, but like, I don't know. I'm not happy with the face. I need to work on my faces. So, but let's, let's do some mushrooms. Uh, for the, I'm going to go the tops, the mushroom tops first. I'll show you the colors I have in no particular order. Um, cream, I've really been enjoying using the cream. I used it on here, I used it on here, and I've now used it on here. I used it on the, the purple poof. Um, cream has become one of my nice go-tos to blend when um, I don't really want a white so I grabbed the cream, and then I've also been grabbing, what is the, uh, the light yellow? The light lemon yellow. So I've been grabbing that too. So that's that. I have umber, which is the raw umber. Um, so I've been using that for like the darker areas here, and I used it in the sunflowers as well. So I'm pulling, I'm pulling a lot of colors. Um, let's see, Burnt Sienna, Dark Carmine, and then my lightest color is a Bordeaux Red. And I'm actually going light to dark on the, on these mushrooms. Um, and then what I want to do, where did it go? I know I've got one around here somewhere. There we go. I'm going to take, um, my... Uh, jelly roll white. Let's get the let's get the ink of flow in here. And there's little little dots. I just want to go ahead and grab some of those and just kind of do like that. Just a little bit. Just a little hint. Uh, normally I wouldn't do that. And now I'm going to have to go over to this one so I can let that dry and not smudge it with my hand. Um, Bordeaux Red. So how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's well. If you're not well, I hope you're on the path to healing. Um, I did get my teeth taken care of, so I feel 110% better. Um, so that's good. Now I just have to get new glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's always something. I uh, I worked so much the last two weeks. Put in 54 hours one week. I put in 46 last week. <sighs> I am burnt out. Let me just tell you. I'm just going to do a light layer. A little heavier on the edges before going in. I'm choked back really far, guys. Just so you know. I would like to turn the page, but sometimes I find that difficult to do, especially with the space constraints that I have. I'm debating what I'm taking to Hilton Head with me in two weeks, and it may just be this book and my Pablo's and uh, Luminance. I put them in the same... Uh, pencil bag. 
The only problem I have is I like taking the Tagal sharpener. We're going to move on to the dark carmine. I like taking the Tagal sharpener with me when I go on vacation or when I visit anywhere or anything like that. And um, the luminance does not fit in the Tagal sharpener. So that's a, a bit of a bummer. Um, so I don't know. And then I need to order a new m &R sharpener because I stripped. I was trying to take off uh, this one. I was trying to take this off. I have replacement blades and I stripped the, uh, the screw because that's just what I do. Let's be honest. That is just what I do. I have no rhyme or reason for this um, this page. Um, I really have no plan other than this will be a robin. Probably going to do her wings pink. Uh, the flowers will probably be... Um, I'm actually leaning towards a violet blue. Um, you know, the ladybug will be red. Mushrooms are mushroomy color leaves or leafy color. Um, just go nature on it, basically. Uh, it allows my mind to not fret about colors and color matching and and working all of that out, which um, can actually be sometimes very stressful for me. I find that trying to Find colors and color schemes can sometimes be extremely stressful. Sometimes I enjoy it. Like it just, something clicks in my head. And I'm like, oh yeah, I got this. Uh, sometimes though, it, it's really, it's really difficult. And I find myself more frustrated than enjoying the process. And that's not what this is about for me. I really like to enjoy the process. And I find that going into the more natural aspects of things like sunflowers are yellow and red um you know mushrooms can be red leaves are green you know going into that aspect allows me to just enjoy the process uh more than i do sometimes uh burnt sienna if you notice, I'm kind of leaving a little white spot here. So uh, that's what I'm doing on this page. I'm just kind of, I think she might be a, a blonde, maybe. We'll see. Maybe she'll have brown hair. Or maybe her hair will be a funky color because why not? She's a fairy and she's not actually real, so I can do whatever I want with her. But I do find that going with natural colors really releases a lot of the, the pressure I sometimes put on myself when I color. And I can look up a reference photo if I need to. Like I grew sunflowers so I know what sunflowers look like. Um, I want to grow sunflowers again. I had this gorgeous it was like a blood red. It was so deep and dark in the center. It was like this purpley red in the center. And then it grew out to these this like variegated deep red and deep orange. And it was just so pretty. And I would love to grow those again. But my HOA does not allow those in the front yard, which is where I get a good amount of light and sun. Um, so I'll have to figure out where to put them in the backyard. But after a certain hour, my backyard doesn't get sun. Or certain parts of my backyard don't get sun. And, and so it just... <laughs> you know, we'll grow myself flowers. And I just have to figure out where to do it. But then my kids really hate bees. And then, you know, they have that whole problem with bees. 
Right. And it's not that they hate them. They just, they're afraid of them. Um, intellectually, they know they won't harm. As long as they leave them alone. Yada, yada, yada. Like, I've really gone into the don't kill bees thing. We're going to go to the umber now. And this isn't, this is going to stay pretty much. Right in here. Like I didn't, I didn't go look up a mushroom. I, I know what mushrooms look like. And I know it is within the realm of possibility that a mushroom cap will be red. I chose an earthy red instead of the bright reds. Because I was going to do a bright red for the uh, ladybug. I'm sorry, I'm shaking that my elbows on that table. Uh... So, you know, this red is within the realm of possibilities. Heading back to Bordeaux now, my lightest color. And so, because I know it's within the realm of possibility, I don't feel too pressured. And sometimes, you know, and not everybody's like that. Some people feel less pressured doing things in a more whimsical way. I'm not a whimsical person. I would love to be a whimsical person. Um, and I, I buy whimsical things and I like the shapes and the flow of stuff and whatnot. But personally, I am incapable. <laughs> like whimsy does not come easy for me. Ah, that's where the yellow went. Cool slide you in there. Yeah, whimsy does not does not come easy to me. As it does other people. I am envious. But not like green with envy. I, I wish I could do that. I can't. I know my limitations. And it's taken me a while to understand and sometimes I still get frustrated with myself. I'm like, oh, why can't I do that? I want to do that like I want to do that so bad. I want to, I want to do whimsy. I want to do, I'm going to take the cream here. I'm just putting in my lightest spot. That is going to be my lightest spot. I'm just doing a nice little circle right there. Um, and then I'm going to build up some more. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go back to the umber. I forgot how much I loved layering with Pablo's. Pablo's and Polychromos and Luminance. Sometimes I get it in my head that I wish I could be like Julie. Uh, Julie's passion for coloring. Julie Bou. I can't say her last name. Bouvoir. Bouvre. dark carmine you know where you just you just lay down and then you, you know let it go out light and then you're done you know put a nice layer of uh white or let's just use the uh, blenders and you're done and it looks gorgeous and it's pretty and I just can't do that <laughs> I am incapable. Again, knowing my limitations, I try on occasion. And I'm like, no, I didn't put enough down because then, you know, if you have a light hand, you just have a light hand. Excuse me, drink. And, um, I have a light hand. And I'm okay with it. Uh, 
I am I am going to Dick Blick and I'm ordering I'm ordering another cream, another black, and then I think I accidentally had a breakage issue with the ogre. So I was gonna order another ogre, but I was gonna order two of the creams. Um and I just noticed I'm kind of doing so I had this page I did. Now I'm doing this page. I'm kind of doing them in order, and I didn't mean to, but, you know, that's how that goes. Okay, I think the only other page I've colored in here, there it is, it was the snow page, and I colored this with the Lyra's, which I didn't really like on this paper. The Lyra's are one where you, I can, you know, put, go dark to light and, and do it that way. And be okay doing it like that. So, this is this is the only other picture I've colored in here. Cat hair, always the cat hair. All right, let's see. I'm gonna go go burnt sienna. I want this a little darker over here. Just in these corners. Now I'm gonna go back to the Bordeaux red. There's my philosophy lesson for today. Find what works for you. But by no means do you have to stick with it. You can try other things. Find other things that work. Find things that don't work. Find things that kind of work, but maybe you got to tweak it. That's okay. Let's go in with the cream now. I think that's good. I'm go in and I'm just gonna blend it. Use the cream to blend. See how that goes in there and blends it really nice. Ugh. I love the Pablos for that. Let's see, let's go on and do some little white dots in there. Let's do the stem now. And for the stem, what I was using was, in no particular order, brownish beige. I'm not very... That's focused. So brownish beige is just the gold coloring on here. Black, cream, and umber. Um, so for this one, I did the red around here, and I don't actually like it. Um, so I think I'm actually going to take... Let's see, I'm going to go in... I don't know what I'm going to do with that, actually. Do this part. So, this is the umber. Just kind of fan that out a little bit. I'll take the black. Just right there. Right in the deep, dark center. So these are the fins on the inside of a mushroom. I eat a lot of baby bella mushrooms. Um, the baby portobello mushrooms. Um, and they have a very dark, dark inside. I don't think all mushrooms do, but the, the portobellas do. And then I'm going to take the brownish beige. I feel like up 
here should be darker too. Back with the black. I'm going to take some cream. I'm not going to blend like I was doing. I'm just kind of adding it. So I did hard pressure up here to really like blend it. This I was just adding it in. Go back with that brownish beige. Blend that out. There's a little issue with the paper. Got that fixed. There we go. A little darker. Now I'm going to go in and blend with the cream. Not all the way up because I don't want the cream to change the color of the dark. There we go. And then I'm going to come down the stem with these same four colors. And I'm going to use my darkest color first, the umber, well not my darkest because I've got black, but the dark color first which is my umber. Um, and then I'm just going to follow where Clara put um, her dots, her shading dots. This is a pretty light pressure. It's going to be dark up in here. Not nearly as dark as the inside because it is, I want to give a little perspective to it. Um, but still a little dark. Go in with the brownish beige and kind of blend that out a little bit. I really feel like I should make it darker here. There's an issue with the paper. Sorry. Right. I'm gonna come in with a light hand on the cream. Just wanna make sure I've got everything right where I want it. Before I come in and put a heavy layer down. It takes a while, but you will get to a point where you, you can't put any more down on the Pablos. It takes a while though, trust me. Seems you can layer forever with these things. want to do? Do I want it red? I don't really. I don't think. I do. I do. I do. I'm going to leave it be. Let's see. That's some raw umber. I'm going to come pretty far around. Use some black back in here. Just right there. Let's 
see the burnt sienna. This is one of those times where, because the area is so small, I don't want to spend an hour um, dark carmine. I want to spend in, like an hour <laughs> sitting here blending this little section. This is where I'm using that uh, heavy, heavy to light pressure technique that I'm really not good at. So I, I don't get heavy enough, I guess. It makes my hand hurt, okay? Um, Bordeaux. And this I'm not leaving a, a little white spot like I, I was with the uh, the rest. Let's see. I really want it darker because it is under. So I'm going to come through with the raw umber. That's another thing. I don't know how Julie's hand doesn't hurt constantly. I'm going to take the uh, cream and just blend that out. Cream is my blender today. So there you go. Nice little mushroom. I need to figure out what color leaves I want to do for the sunflowers. Let's see. Let's go back to Pablo's. Oh, that's right. Let's zoom back out. Alright, so I'm gonna do something with these. I know I want the grass to be olivey, but because those leaves are, are up here. I can probably get away with something all of these for them too. Um, I could go the olive black, like a moss green and then light olive. Or I could go into the loomies. And do like the moss green. Olive yellow and spring green. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Hmm. Right, let's do olive black, olive, a little bit of the moss green because I really like that. And then light olive. So black, olive black. That's olive brown. Olive black. Olive. That's khaki. That's moss. And then where's my light olive? There's my light olive. Alright, so let's see here. See, this was the Mitsubishi. I was trying to do like a purpley pink and nothing was blending. It all, it was three separate colors and I, I don't like that. So, olive black. Olive. Moss green. And olive yellow. I like that. Sorry, I had to make sure my computer didn't fall asleep there. Alright, I like that. I'll probably pull in a little bit of the black. Um, just to darken up some areas. I think so. I think that's good. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm going to take my skull. I'm five. I'm 
don't know why my youngest is growling at her sister. I mean, really, who knows anything? Let's see, I need to empty my tagal. I've got new ones of these, the Tagal sharpeners coming because that one's getting a little, little old. All right, so let's zoom in on some uh, these here. Let's zoom on on these. Let's see. This is gonna be dark back here. So that was all of black. This is black. Olive. Moss green. And olive yellow, right? Light olive. Light, light olive. There we go. That's nice. That's nice and dark. Back for the, the back. Um, this I'm gonna I'm gonna follow the the dots come in from the sides and the Pablo is just like glide all right so that was olive black this is olive moss green And then light olive. And maybe because I seem to like it today, uh, some cream right in the center. I'll take the black. I'm going to come back here. Give me a shadow. Sometimes, after I pick a million and a half colors, I find out that I don't actually need a million and a half colors. And what I need is I'm pulling out the olive. So I'm going down to three colors plus a highlight plus a shadow. So this is olive black. Moss green. Mm -hmm. Let me try olive yellow. Instead of light olive. I think I think olive yellow. It needs a yellow tone. That's that's what I'm coming. That's where I'm coming from on this. It needs a yellow tone to it. It was just too olive-y. So, switched it up. Now it's olive black, moss green, and olive yellow. <laughs> uh, trial and error, you know. Let's see. Let's try this one back here. Um, no. There we go. This will be the last thing I do with you guys. I do have to get back to work, unfortunately. Hmm. 
off screen. of yellow. See that gives a nice yellow tone that all leaves have. Cream right in the center here. Go some black Just for some shading. Come back with the colors. One more round, just to deepen them. Um, you could leave it the first round, that's up to you. Personally, I could go either way. But I don't tend to get the smooth transition I tend to like between colors with only one application. There we go. Perfect. I like it. We'll zoom back out. So we've done a mushroom, we've done some leaves, and I will call call it here. Hopefully I'll have another um let's see, I'm going into the office on Thursday. I have another dentist appointment on Wednesday. Um maybe tomorrow. I'll come back. Maybe Friday. Friday's payday. Paydays are nice. Um, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for spending time with me. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Links are in the description down below. Please note that they are affiliate links. I get a very small percentage of any purchase at no extra additional cost to you. Blah, blah, blah. Disclaimer, disclaimer. Have a great day, or night, or 2 a.m., whatever, whatever. Thank you, guys. Bye.